Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as we all know that the CXC examinations have been pushed back to the week of the 23rd of May and the broad topics for that examination has now been released. Now to be more specific, the topics for the exam for the first week of May has been released. It is said that the topics for all other subjects will be released um, on Friday, May 13th. 2022. So, as you know, EDPM takes place in the first week of CSEC examinations. So, for this video, I'm just going to go through the proposed topics for EDPM and see how prepared you are for those topics. So, here we go. All right, so let me zoom up this. So, here we go. So, it is said that for the paper 2 for EDPM, you should know how to do a letterhead with a logo now the good thing about most of these topics is that there are videos for them that you can watch and anything that may not have a video then i will have to see how best i can assist you in preparing a video for that all right but going through it says that you should know how to create a letterhead with a logo right and once you know how to create that letterhead you should be able now to type a two-page letter on that letterhead that you have created that um yeah that letterhead that you have created now i see here where cxc specified that you should know how to type a two-page letter in block style format now i'm just gonna urge you not to lean so much to this all right um so not because cxc says the block style means that you're not gonna look at the indented style or the semi-block style because I was surprised when I see being this specific, all right? And so because we do not want any surprises in the exam, I'm just going to say to you just to ensure that you look at all the letters so you're not surprised as to what you may get in the exam, all right? Now, it moves on to manuscript signs and formatting features. Now, man manuscript signs and formatting features are always in all documents that you get to type in the subject. All right, so it's not a specific thing where you need to know manuscript signs for X. All right, so every document that you get to type will have some manuscript signs or some formatting features that you need to carry out. So that is carried all throughout the exam. We move on to number five that speaks about creating a brochure from given information. And I do have a past paper question that I worked on brochure, so you can Watch that video to get a better understanding of what you are expected to do as it relates to creating a brochure. Then we have inserting bullets. All right. There's something in ED. Well, you know, bullets and numbering. There are two separate things, but we use them a lot when we're doing enumeration and insets. All right. So you will see these being carried out in the letters more, more than anything else. When you're drafting letters, you will see them be carried out there. However, if anything, I can maybe do a short video to show you how to insert bullets. All right, then we move on to creating a circular process chart. Now, I'm not so sure as to what to expect from this, but I remember a past paper question a couple years ago that has a circular chart in it. So I'm going to see how best I can do a video with that specific question as well as to show you the various symbols um, shapes and symbols that you need or where to find them just in case you go in the exam and what i'm showing you is not the exact thing that is there however all you need to do for most of these um things especially for this one is to type what you see all right type what you see and follow the manuscript signs and the formatting features that you're asked to carry out so it's nothing complex all right but i'm going to work that question so you can get an idea or a feel of how you go about doing it all right inserting a footer i think i'm going to do a quick demonstration in a video to show you how to do this you know we speak about the header and the footer the header is where we will insert the letterhead when we're typing our, our name and the name of the document but the footer is where the page numbering will go all right so everyone should be familiar with the footer but if not, I may do a quick demonstration to show you how to go about doing that. Um, the next one says creating a memorandum. 
Again, I have, um, I think it's two videos on the memorandum, one showing you how to do it in the block style and another in the indented style. So you can also look at that. I'm going to see how I can link some of these videos at the end um, or throughout this um, recording so that you can quickly go to them. But if not, you can always go on the channel and look up these topics and just zoom in on them. Um, number 10 speaks about Excel operations. And so this will speak about you now Microsoft Excel and will also take into consideration the topic known as tabulation. I have done an extensive or uh, some extensive teachings on this topic where I spoke about tabula tabulation, aka tabular work. And apart from me speaking about it like that, I've also worked uh, a number of spreadsheet past paper questions. So I'm sure that once you zoom in on those questions, you'll be good to go for this aspect of the examinations. And finally, you know, you need to know how to design a certificate with border. All right. And um, my guess is that this needs to be done in Microsoft Word. All right. So I may also do a video on this to show you how to do something of in that manner all right and that's all you need to know for the paper too right it seems to me that this exam will be heavy on display work all right but the good thing is that you have an idea as to what to zoom in on with your studies i will say to you before i move over to the topics for the paper tree which are much similar to this i will say to you that not because you get these topics mean that this is the only thing that you will study all right because bear in mind that these are the topics of the paper two and the paper tree but there is nothing for the, the multiple choice. All right, so you do not know what you may get in the multiple choice paper. And so you need to study everything. All right, so let's move over quickly to the paper three. All right, so the paper three is somewhat similar. So it speaks about um, creating a letterhead with a logo, typing a letter on, the le on a letterhead, block style format, um, inserting appropriate subject line, typing, inserting typist initials all right so that's just basically typing a letter all right um it speaks here again about the block style i don't know why they zoom in on the block style rather than just being general all right but um that's what they have here and so i have teachings on the block style letter indented and semi-block style as i said don't just focus on one because maybe the other aspects will be given in the multiple choice or i don't know right but we don't want any surprises in the exam all right number three says creating an attendance register using appropriate software all right um it also speaks about formatting features using color codes to represent specific information um, inserting suitable shading um, creating a memorandum creating a flyer from skeleton notes um, I think I did a, a video on the flyer as well creating a program from given information I have videos and program and page orientation all right so that's our orientation is a formatting feature right that's just knowing how to turn your paper all right and so um, again I will say I will see how best I can try to do some little videos here and there to zoom in on some of these topics that I have not done on the channel but for most of the, the the heavy part of it I have done videos on them so you can watch them to get a better understanding also you can type little um, questions to me here and there I try my best to answer all your questions as best as I can um, if it is that you have any thing that you need to you know find out about all right but these are the topics that CXE released I do hope that you study accordingly but again I would say do not limit it to what you see here but go outside of the box as well because you have your paper one to study for so all the best in your exams everyone and see you in my next upload as I try each and every time to make EVPM simple bye bye